Hey, what's cracking everybody? Today I'm gonna be taking a look at a system called Ocean OS. And right here on their website, if we can see, let's check out the about. And it says, what is Ocean OS? Ocean OS is an Arch Linux based, free, safe, and open source operating system for your kids and yourself that allows you to stay safe in the world of technology without compromising on your daily requirements. Ocean OS will operate to ensure your safety, comfort, accessibility, and exploration opportunities. We offer a secure operating system for everyone in this digital world. Ocean OS stands out among other operating systems for several reasons. It prioritizes security with regular updates and resource efficient features, including blocking 2.2, .2, what is that, LAKH, malicious websites, at the OS level and offering the Sahayek Helpline app for reporting cyber threats. Additionally, it provides a customized Chromium browser with essential extensions and tailored font for especially able children and allows users to monitor their activities through Activity Watch. Ocean OS is committed to safeguarding users and their loved ones in the digital realm, offering extensive community support. All right, pretty basic. So uh, I got it up in a virtual machine right now. So let's head on over there and take a look at Ocean OS. It is an Arch-based system, so it's updated. All right, here we are on the virtual machine. I have the ISO booted up. So I'm looking for an installer. So let me open up the... Uh, application launcher and type install and we have right here install system so i'll click on that and it says authentication is required to run the application installation program so let's the password is going to be ocean and let's wait for it and it is and it is using calamari's so calamari's is a pretty standard uh easy installer for uh our Linux based systems for the little progress to complete but uh it's ready now so we have a uh, welcome to os welcome to the ocean os installer this program will ask you some questions to set up ocean os on your computer so right now it just says american english click on next my location los angeles i'll click on next uh keyboard layout english us default click on next and then right here i'll select erase this and for the swap i'll just put swap the file Okay, and now I'm going to enter my uh, user info. Give it a complicated password. And I'm going to select to log in automatically. Again, as I stated before, uh, if you're a new user, do not uh, log in automatically unless you know what you're doing. Click on next, and then we have a uh, screen that lets you know what's going to happen. Click on install, and then install now. All right, so while this goes through the install process, I'll go ahead and pause the video, and when we come back, we'll be ready to reboot into Ocean OS. All right, the installation is now all done, so we'll go ahead and uh, click on done. Usually there's a uh, check restart now button, but uh, I don't see it here, so we'll just click on done. And we'll just have to reboot the normal way. We are rebooted into the system and we have the welcome screen right here. And it says, welcome to OS, Ocean OS. Welcome to Ocean OS. The links below will help you get started. Enjoy and feel free to send us your feedback. And you got some useful links here. So you got Muse, Wiki, Forum, the team, bugs, and donate. And there's a little check mark right here. So if you don't want it to start back up when you uh, reboot, you just uncheck it. If you want it to show up, keep a check. It's completely up to you. All right, and this is the uh, Plasma desktop environment. It is not Plasma 6. At least it doesn't look like it's Plasma 6, but it is Plasma. And uh, of course you have the tray on uh, the panel on the bottom. And on the panel, we have the system tray on the right with our calendar, clock, and notifications, volume, all the good stuff that usually comes with a system tray. And then on the left, we have some uh, pinned applications. We have uh, Chromium, Dolphin, File Manager, 
Discover Software Manager and your System Settings. And then next to that, we're going to have our Application Launcher. And on KDE, we can get our favorites, all applications, development, education, games, graphics, internet, multimedia, office, settings, system, and utilities. And lost and found. And on the bottom right here, you have your shutdown, restart, sleep. You have your places, applications, and you have a search. All right, so let's go through these uh, pinned applications one by one. We'll start with Chromium, which is our web browser. And let's see on the about, which uh, version of Chromium we're using. Make it bigger. And it is version 125.0.6422.60. And that is your all right. And it did say that it was a custom, uh, a custom chromium. So let me go back to the Ocean OS website and let's see what it said about the website about the about the web browser. You know, there's chromium somewhere. Right here, it provides a customized Chromium browser with essential extensions and tailored font for especially able children and allows users to monitor the activities through Activity Watch. I'm okay, so I guess there are some uh, some extensions on here. Well, you got uBlock, uBlock Origin, and then this right here. What is this? I'm not sure what it is, but uh. Advanced profanity filter. Okay. And we'll go right here. Let's look for our extensions right there. Manage extensions. So we have Activity Watch, Web Watcher, Advanced Profanity Filter, Limit, sets limits for distracting sites, Plasma Integration, Stay Focus, Block Distracting Websites, and U Block Origin. So these are the uh, six extensions that it comes with, just in case you were wondering. Alrighty then, that is uh, Chromium. And next to that we got Dolphin, which is our file manager. So uh, if you need to get to your files, you get anything done, this is the place to do it. So our construct is documents, downloads, music, pictures, and videos. And let's see on the about what version of uh of dolphin this is. And this is dolphin version 24.02.2. And next to that we have Discover. Discover is gonna be your uh software manager. And I believe since we are on Arch that this uses uh I think it's Flathub or I'm not sure, but I think it uses Flathead. Well, let's find out. All right, that one's already installed, so we'll go back. Let's find something that's not installed. Maybe Lisa. Okay, and oh, and it says install from Ocean. So I'm guessing they have their own repository set up. All right, and that's set up now. And there you go, there's your Lisa. It is Elisa 24.05.2. All right, and this is your software manager, Discover. So let me go back and get into the uh, about. And the about, Discover 6.0.4. And it is from 2024, so KDE Framework 6.2.1. So maybe this is uh, Plasma 6. They just have it set up their own custom way. Because usually this is supposed to be a floating uh, panel on the bottom. But you can't always set it up that way. Well, let's look into our uh, system settings. From right here, we could do our uh, appearance. You know, you got your input, output, connected devices, internet, apps and windows, workspace, security and privacy, language and time system 
So you got pretty much everything that you need right here. But let me go to about this system. And yeah, it is KDE Plasma 6. So uh, they just have it set up to where the panel doesn't float. So yeah, that's pretty standard. All right. And this is your system settings. So anything you want to control on here, you got mouse, keyboard, touchscreen, multimedia, game controller, drawing tablet, sound, display, monitor, accessibility. I could keep reading and reading, but there's a lot of them. So anything you need to control on your system, you can do it from right here. Go to colors and themes. I'm going to set it to breeze dark. All right, then the colors, leave it on breeze dark, application style. Uh, I'm going to go to oxygen and plasma style. I'm going to switch that to oxygen. All right, and then on the wallpaper, there's plenty of wallpapers to choose from on here. So let's go with this one, apply it, and let's go ahead and close the uh, settings. All right, pretty cool. All right, well, let's see what type of software they have installed. We have like things like Genie, which is your uh, IDE text editor, and Kate, which is pretty much the same thing. You got Meld, under Education, you got LibreOffice Math. On the games, you got Solitaire. On the graphics, you got Gwenview, Ocular. Internet, you got Chromium, Fozilla. Multimedia, you have Elisa, Gnome CD Maker. K3B, VLC, SM Player, Office, you got your Libre Office Suite, Settings, you got your Printer Settings, your Pulse Audio Settings, System Settings, and your Network Settings. Then on your system, we have uh, pretty much everything on your system. You got Discover, File Manager, Gparted, HTOP, your Terminal, Info Center. Oh, there is something on here. It said Ocean. Ocean Sahayak, a cyber bullying reporting tool. Let me click that and see what that's about. Hey there, I'm Sahayak. I'm here to assist you. Please type to report. Bullying issue, spamming issue, Dawson issue, blackmailing issue, other issue. Okay. All right, let's get back over here. Then under utilities, you got some of the repeated uh, applications on here. And then you got lost and found, which is where you'll find your wallet screen. All right, well, I just wanted to take a look at Ocean OS. I was planning on looking on this, looking at this uh, a few weeks ago, but I got caught up in Linux Hub and I had to get that pushed and rolled out. So uh, I put this on the back burner. And uh, today, when I was going through my ISOs, I noticed that I still had this there. And I was like, you know what? I haven't done a, a first look on it yet. So here we are today doing first look on it. All right. So this is Ocean OS. It is a KDE Arch based system. And uh, from what I see, everything works pretty good. Everything works out of the box. Everything, no problems whatsoever. So if it's something you want to take a look at, I'll have the links down in the video description. That way you guys can check it out yourself. And, uh, Play around with it. All right, you guys. That's going to do it for me on this video. And I'm out.